एवरी वन वेलकम टू बॉटनी इन साइडर सो इस लेक्चर में वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन बाय मेनी ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द सी एस आई आई यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन एंड दैट इज इज द पाथ फाइंडर इनफ फॉर द प्रेपरेशन ऑफ द सी एस आई आर और नॉट बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव नॉट ज्वाइन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप so just search on telegram bot me insider and you can join that channel for daily practice and also the update of all the videos that i post on the youtube so talking about the main question that is is the pathfinder enough or not so this question cannot be given a complete answer that is either yes or no it's a mixture of both how so first of all we have to understand that when we buy the pathfinder book set we get seven books in total two of them are of theories and then we have one book for the biophysics and the molecular biology next we have the three books for the evaluation process that is the mcq type books and one book is for the ecology and environment so this is the complete set that you get for the pathfinder now whether these seven books are enough or not so one thing you have to understand that the pathfinder book is written in a very precise manner there is a lot of information contained in the book that is for example if you are dealing with any chapter for example let's say you are dealing with the molecular biology itself so you should have a very good conceptual knowledge in advance itself if you want to cover this topic from the pathfinder if you are new to the preparation that is you do not even know that what is a gene or what is a dna all about so i don't think that book would be sufficient for you to clear your basics you can use the pathfinder book but the basics of yours should be very strong that you can easily apply those basics to understand and this precise book and next point is that if you want to take only the pathfinder book for your preparation then at least 3 to 4 readings of the books is a must the reason for the same is that because there is so much information contained you cannot grab all the information in just a single reading so this was about the important things that you need to keep in mind while preparing for the examination by the pathfinder book now one more thing is that some of the topics just cannot be prepared from from this particular book for example you are preparing for the developmental biology let's say so this unit cannot be prepared from this particular book why because developmental biology is a very broad subject to deal upon so you need to consider the standard books for the same that is for understanding the mutation cases you have to understand about the experiments behind them and for that you need to have the more broader understanding of the developmental biology which cannot be fulfilled by the pathfinder book so the next thing is if we look at the topics that we could prepare from this particular unit is the first one is the biochemistry yes you can prepare biochemistry conditions you should have your concepts very very clear next is evolution evolution is given very beautifully in this particular book you can use this book for completing your evolution chapter completely from this particular book next is the molecular that is the dna replication transcription translation and all the other concepts related to the same you can use this book but there also condition applied you should have your concepts cleared from the other books or from other sources that you are using for the preparation but yes this book is very good for the revision purpose that is if you clear your concepts from the various other sources that are available and then you switch to these books for the revision purpose the best thing is what you can do take that unit and complete that unit from all the other sources that you have and then after you are done with that particular unit then what you can do is then you can take the pathfinder book and just complete that particular segment from the pathfinder itself and then after that it should be followed by the previous year question papers after of course the revision which just cannot be skipped in any manner so revision is the key for every examination so 
so this is something that you could apply in your examination that is you can use this book for the revision purpose when you have all the concepts in your hand prepared and then you want to summarize all the points at one time so for that you can take this book and just completely read that chapter from that particular book you would see in a small paragraph itself you have so many of the information written so for that you cannot take it for the first reading but for that you can take it for the revision just take the book for the revision purpose and clear your concepts from from all the other sources but if your concepts are very very clear, Clear that you have every single knowledge about ki DNA kya hota hai, RNA kya hota hai, what is the difference between them, and also ki replication ke kaun se kaun se processes hote hai, prokaryotes mein, eukaryotes mein, so on and so forth. Then you can use this book, but for that also you would have to have three to four readings at least for that book. But I know most of us do not have time कि हम इतनी bulky books को three to four times read करें so for solving that out what you can do is you can keep these books for the revision purpose so that after you complete your concepts from all the other books you can use this book for the revision thing so I guess this particular question of each one of you that whether you should use the pathfinder or whether you should use the other sources or not I would give you a one word answer as club the sources do not go for or do not stick to just one particular book because it is a national examination you cannot just stick on a single book and you would think that the questions would come from that part only no you have to have the multiple dimensions of a topic cleared and for that you have to use the sources not just pathfinder but in addition to that many other sources which are comfortable to you i have in my previous videos told you about that keep your sources concise that means sources once selected should not go beyond that limit that is if you are selecting that okay from these channels I want to prepare and the pathfinder would be used for my revision purpose so stick to those sources do not, that is you should not think about that okay I am doing for example let's say Hamilton's rule then you would be preparing the Hamilton's rule from 20 other sources no just stick to that point ki mujhe yaha se karna hai and this is the important things these are the important points that I have to prepare so agar wo points ek jagha se complete hote hai so do not waste your time just complete that topic from that particular source and then do its revision make previous year question papers solved and finally just go for the next topic so this is how you can prepare for the examination of the CSI or UGC net examination I hope these points would help you to select whether you should use the pathfinder or not depending upon your preferences now and with this we're done with this particular video so if you like this video please do like share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel and also do not forget to join on the telegram channel i would see you very soon with more informative videos as well so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye